are my top three Pilates ring exercises for your inner thighs. We're gonna start by lying down, taking your ring. The feet are down on the ground. You're gonna take the ring and place it in between your knees. You wanna make sure that this padded part of the ring is gently resting a little bit below the knee so that you just feel it on your upper thigh. Your arms are gonna come down. Your tummy, is, of course, is gonna be scooping as we're using our powerhouses, we're doing Pilates. And you're gonna think about the glutes kind of wrapping. You want the feet pressed down into the earth, zipping up those lower abs. And then you're gonna just gonna squeeze that circle and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. And you can repeat that five times, six times, no more than 10, holding five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna do one more. Using those inner thighs, you wanna squeeze both sides of your abdominals together as well, so you're really engaging your powerhouse. Three, two, and one. And then a variation on this exercise is taking little pulses. So we're gonna do 10 little pulses. Tummies in, inner thighs are active. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that's our first top Pilates exercise for the inner thighs with the ring. We're gonna take the second. The second is lifting the legs off, pointing through your toes or flexing. You can try either variation here. It's the same idea, but we just don't have the grounding of the floor. It's a little harder. Pull the tummy in and squeeze that circle. Two, three, four, and five. And release. Let's try it with flex feet. Same thing, squeeze the circle, tummy's in. The inner thighs are working really strongly here, guys. And release. Point your toes again. Let's take those little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little challenging to keep the legs strong. You want to do that. Tummy's in. We're going to roll up. And the third one takes place between the ankles. So you're gonna take the padded side of the circle again, put it right above your ankle bone so you wanna make sure that it feels comfortable, bending your knees, and then you take your other inside of the ankle. And I like to lie down with my knees bent, and then I lift my legs up and stretch my legs out so that that circle stays between my legs. Now I'm lined up here, the body is long, and I'm gonna rotate my legs so my heels are in towards each other and my toes are out. So we're not in a parallel position, we're in a turned out position. Tummy's in, and we're gonna squeeze those inner thighs together with long legs. I'm really activating my inner thighs a lot here and release. My tummy's in, my hips are solid, and I'm squeezing down, hold, two, three. Your toes are long and release. And one more, tummy's in, hold, two, three, and release, coming out of it. Now in terms of repetition, you can do five, you can do six, you can do 10. You don't really wanna do more than 10. Keeping it really solid, pay attention to your form, get those inner thighs working, and you'll be good.